You know, in Cleveland, the site of the Final Four, hundreds of young girls are hoping to become the next Caitlin Clark. Randy Buffington has more on girl power that's just taken over the city. What's up, good people? Randy Buffington here. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, where March Madness has taken this city by storm. And for just one reason. Girl power. Girl power. Letting girls know they can do anything. Love what you do. And if you find what you love, keep doing it. Now this place will be packed tonight and you might need to take out a loan just to attend. Tickets are going for no less than $1,000 a pop. Call it the Caitlin Clark effect and go ahead and chop off that arm or that leg while you're at it because as you know, limbs are temporary. The final four, now that's forever. Especially the way these girls are playing right now. This stretch is way beyond college basketball. On Thursday, I had the chance to hang out with 200 middle school girls that participated in a basketball clinic sponsored by the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Women's Basketball Coaches Association. Everywhere else in society, they try to keep us in the box. You can't yell, don't run, sit down, look pretty. In sport, we control what we do when we get out there between the lines. Don't y'all love that? Yeah. Women's college basketball is shining right now. To put it in perspective, Iowa's Elite Eight victory over LSU have more viewers than the 2023 NBA Finals. Yeah. In other words, it's happening. I'm excited about the exposure, but this level of play has been there for a while. But this moment right here, the stars have been made available to the public to debate, to glorify, to villainize, to just have an opinion on. And that's beautiful. And you see it all coming to full fruition right now in March Madness. Man, I cannot wait until tip off. Now, if only I could afford a ticket. <laughs> and and there's that. Question. You know, this really is fun to watch.